Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Janku, and today I'm continuing the Rick and Morty drawing, and this time I am drawing Morty. So again, I'll be using Inkscape, and right now I'm just creating uh, Morty's head, and I'm not going to try too hard to shape it perfectly. I'm just going to try to get something down, but you'll notice throughout the video I'll be making edits. On Morty's head we have an ear, we have a mouth, and I'm actually going to choose to use the pencil tool to make these details because I'm not really trying to create a full object that I'll be filling in, I'm just trying to create a line to show where the ear is and where the mouth is. All right, let's get rid of the color of Rick's shirt on Morty's face and let's grab those colors. So what I did was I used the eyedropper tool in the fill and stroke window and I was able to just grab those colors directly from Morty just like I did for Rick. Alright, now so I'm going to add the eyeballs to Morty. I'd already done this for Rick, so I'm just actually ripping off uh, Morty's eyeballs. But basically I used the pencil tool, and you can check out Rick's video that I had created last week. And I took it and scribbled little eyeballs. And that's how you get that little messy eyeball effect, which I really love in the Rick and Morty art. So just like Rick, uh, Morty has these skinny little legs. Going to try to keep them proportional, straight and small. Going to add the socks and the pointy little shoes. All right, now it's time for the hands. There's all different ways that you can draw the hands. I chose the pencil tool, um, but you're welcome to use the Bezier tool. I just, sometimes I like to freeform draw and then correct the nodes afterward. I'm not exactly sure if this technique was the best as I am really working on correcting those nodes and I'm going back and editing them. Seems that this hand right here is a bit small, so I'll be making adjustments by just increasing the size of the hand, um, increasing the width of the fingers, and so on. But I tend to work on this a bit more than the rest of the body.
All right, so I'm gonna go around and just touch up, clean up in the areas that I should. Um, I noticed that in this video, I hadn't edited the, uh, I guess, hit Morty's right arm to slope it more downwards. I have it pretty uh, perpendicular to his left arm. Um, but those are all adjustments that you can make. And it's easy to really make these adjustments by Selecting the No tool and holding Shift and just click and dragging over all the nodes that you want to move at once. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as is and present Rick and Morty together just like it is in this image. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, feel free to comment below on any questions you have and tune in for more videos on Janku. Thank you so much. Thank you.